Hello all, and welcome to Spirits of Xanadu. So what is Spirits of Xanadu? Well, let's have a look and find out, shall we? So option-wise, not a great amount, but enough to be getting on with. Controls, of course, fully rebindable. You can also use a gamepad with it. So let's just start a new game. So here we are. Approaching the ship Xanadu. And yeah, there's your usual documents and such like. And some audio Good recordings. Is this the morning where you are? It just depends on which side of the nearest sun you're on. I'll have to ask one of the Agnes. Anyway, if you're listening to this message, then you're in the vicinity of Alpha Orion's, and you'll be docking with the Xanadu shortly. I just wanted to say thank you once again for taking this job on. There aren't many people who would have done it. The crew are going to be pretty grateful to you, I know that. Help them to get their drive running again, fix up any other problems they may be having, and get back home. The Zanadu has been conducting some very important research, so bring her back to us safely. And keep yourself safe, okay? See you in a few months. Good luck. Welcome to Zanadu. Please remain in your vessel until the docking light turns green. So yes, here we are in the far-flung futuristic year of 1983. <laughs> yes. Rather odd choice to be set into. But it is what it is. And you might be getting a slight system shock vibe from it. But of course the developers did say that, that was one of their big influences. And it hasn't got all the RPG elements, of course. Save you. There's plenty of safe places around, uh, safe stations around. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's now. So, big ship like this, but only three platforms. Oops. Only three. Sort of uh, three crew members. Let's have a look. Uh, So yes, I mean the game itself is fairly simple. This is going to be quite a short little look because I don't really want to give any spoilers. It is quite a short game. Once you know what you're doing, you can complete it pretty rapidly. There's some slightly minor stealth elements. I wouldn't really call it a horror game as such. It's more of a... It does have a good atmospheric vibe to it, especially at this moment in time when the lights are all out deadly robots patrolling the ship. And it's very much a story driven game, although the story itself is a little bit predictable as is often the way in these kind of things. As you can see there's some, uh, there's some shooting and gunplay, but it's not the greatest admittedly. But as you heard, the voice acting is pretty decent throughout. There are some like puzzle elements to the game as you collect different documents and find out what happened to the crew and so forth and so on. Graphics, okay, not stunning, very sort of flat shaded, but I find them quite quite enjoyable. Makes a nice refreshing change. You can get the lights back on quite quickly in this game. And it does have three different endings, although I am having a little bit of problem getting the last ending at the moment. That's probably something I've missed rather than the game. So it does have some replayability, so it's not terrible, not by any stretch of imagination. It is just short. Once you know what you're doing, you can pretty much do it in under 10 minutes if you're speedrunning. So let's find something to shoot at. It's not a very big map. I mean, you saw the size of the ship when you come in here. It's actually quite small. I probably don't want to take on two of them. Oh, yeah, now we're shooting. Oops. Bit of a fighting retreat, I think. <laughs> On the harder levels they can wipe you out pretty quickly so you have to do use a little bit more a little bit more in the way of stealth and such like. 
But yeah, so I mean, this is this is sort of the game. So a few odd sort of moments like this. Gun turrets and things to avoid, robots to shoot, secrets, quite a few secrets and bits to find, little Easter eggs and things like that if you enjoy that. Wow, this is moving really slow for some reason this time. And that's to be said, the developers have been pretty good on their forum. They've been very active, they've added in various patches, fixes, options to the game that the, uh, that the player base have requested. I believe it's 6 99 so it's, quite, it's definitely, I, I think it was worth the money, I've enjoyed myself in it. As I say, it's just hard to do a review without giving too many spoilers. So you know, there we go. These ones you can at least turn off, all the other ones. Uh, oops, and the gun turrets, there's a ways to deal with them, but I shall, I shall not give you any spoilers on that front. Did I not put the lights back on? Or am I just imagining it? I thought I did. did I? Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yes, this is Spirits of Xanadu. Not to be mistaken with Waterloo, the other famous song they did. So anyway, well, I think I'll conclude here. Like I say, if you like a good story-driven game, excellent voice acting throughout. A few little bits of secrets and Easter eggs to find. Some combat, as I say, it's not the greatest of combat, they're not the greatest of graphics, but the performance is pretty high all throughout. Stability is good, I've not had any crashes or any problems with the game. And obviously, sci fi vibe, like I say, set in 1983. <laughs> Which will explain the amount of cigarettes you find everywhere. <laughs> so, anyway, all, I think I'll conclude our dealings here. And don't forget if you found the video useful or helpful in any way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, let me know you're alive. And I shall see you all next time. Bye now.